Few things rival the love of a mother for her newborn child. And yet, when I had my baby, like many mothers around the world, I let a stranger inject bacteria into his left arm. I watched the injection site pus and blister until eventually a scar formed on my baby's perfect skin. This is the scar of the BCG vaccine given at birth to prevent tuberculosis or TB. Unfortunately, the BCG vaccine only protects children, so most of us here can get TB. Maybe some of us already have, and we don't even know it. You see, when we inhale the bacteria that causes TB, a multitude of outcomes can occur. But for clinical purposes, people are categorized as having active TB or latent TB. Active TB can happen to 10% of us. We'll feel sick, we can even die, and we can spread the disease to others. Latent TB happens to the other 90% of us, and we'll feel fine, and we don't spread the disease. In latent TB, our bodies effectively trap the bacteria inside these spherical sleeping bags, which my sister crocheted for me last week, <laughs> but in reality, is called granulomas. As long as the bacteria are tucked away, then we are safe. But so are the bacteria. They're safe from being attacked by our immune system and safe from being detected by diagnostic tests. But if we get HIV, if we use drugs that suppress our immune system, then the bacteria escape. Decades from when we first inhale the bacteria, the disease reactivates, and we can now spread it to others. Suddenly, even countries that have curbed TB transmission for decades, like the UK, can see a resurgence in the Great White Plague. This is what makes tuberculosis fascinating and terrifying. Humans have been infected with TB for thousands of years, but we still don't know what signals our bodies give when harboring this hidden killer. These signals are biomarkers and the focus of my research. Biomarkers are molecules with the invaluable potential to be translated into diagnostic tools that are rapid, cheap, and simple, that can be used in big hospitals with high demand and in remote villages without running electricity. If we can find the specific biomarker that tells us who has latent TB, then we are one step closer to curing them wherever they are in the world. If we can cure people with latent TB, then we're actually stopping the spread of future infections. And if we can stop the spread of future infections, then we no longer need to rely on preventive measures like the BCG vaccine. And that scar on my baby's perfect skin will be part of a distant history.